Welcome to Brothers Workshop. Today, I'll show you how to stay energized on those long biking trips by building a bike protein bar holder. So let's get started. The first step in any design project is to take measurements of the things you will design around. I started CAD with just a basic idea I had in my mind of how I wanted it to look. I wanted a minimalistic looking holder that I can clamp on my bike and reach while riding. During the design process I had some things in mind. First was to use the measurements I took and allow for tolerance. Second was to design something that can print well without the need for supports. When designing something to be 3D printed, you have to constantly think about printing orientation and overhangs. The holder was designed in three parts, the main body, the top cover and the door. I used M4 screws to secure the top cover and design slots to hold the nuts in the main body. I used M3 screws for the door to create a hinge. The door closure were designed as a friction fit with a small notch. After designing all three parts, I verified their fitment by creating an assembly and good thing that I did because it revealed issues with the door. I exported the parts as STL files and started the 3D print. I used core settings as it was a big part and I didn't want it to take very long. 3D printing has come a long way and to think that you can buy one for less than $300 is amazing. If you are an aspiring maker, I would recommend you to buy one. The possibilities with 3D printing are limited just by your imagination. Our first prototype for the bike protein holder is ready and as with any first prototype, it is not perfect. It has some major issues which cannot be overlooked. One of the main errors that I made was that I did not account for the air inside the protein bar. So if, you're, if I try to put it in there, it only goes three fourths of the way in and then it gets stuck because of the air. What I did to test this theory was I put a small hole in one of the protein bars and that goes in just fine. So what I need to do is make the slots just a little bit bigger to cater for the air inside the protein bars. Uh, the other thing I realized was that the, that the slots were too deep and the protein bar would go in all the way and it'll be difficult to pull out. So what I'll do is make the slots a bit shallower so that the wrapper of the protein bar sticks out just a little bit so that it's easier to hold on to and pull out. We'll make these adjustments and reprint the bike protein bar holder. After hours of designing and 3D printing and then redesigning and then re-3D printing, the design is finally complete now. There were issues with the first one, there were issues with the second one, but the third one is perfect. So let's start assembly. Assembly for the protein bar holder is super simple. All the time that was spent designing it in CAD pays off during assembly. If it requires a lot of force, don't force it. Just file the indent on the, on the door and it'll be fine.
spike protein holder turned out great and I would recommend every one of you to try it. Uh, it's practical and it's useful. So this is it for this one. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Maybe consider subscribing and I'll catch you in the next one.